Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. It's going to be a quick video. Those of you who are regular viewers know who I am and a little bit about me. Those who don't, um, I am 50 years old and I'm more or less retired, stay at home, and take care of my elderly mother. Okay? And I love my mother. She was that kind of mom that, um, and that kind of person that whenever, yes, I got a new background, by the way. Um, when her mother was sick, she took care of her mother as long as she could. But unfortunately, her mother ended up in a nursing home. And her sister ended up in the same nursing home. And she got to see what kind of conditions happen in a nursing home to her sister and her mother and she said okay I'm I never want to go to a nursing home okay flashback for me whenever I was learning to become an EMT years ago I worked for a transport EMS company and while I was getting my my license and I got to see a lot of different nursing homes and so forth and okay, when I finally get my EMT certificate and I'm fully licensed, I ended up working for um, a county EMS for the largest county in the state and enjoyed it. It was nice being able to help people and I really enjoy helping people whenever I can. I guess I get that from my mom, you know, she's that kind of person that she loves to help people. She can't stand to see somebody suffering and she's just a good hearted person. Well. She has Parkinson's and among a few other things and she's getting to the point where she's losing her mobility where you know she's also had knee replacement surgery um, so she gets she's slowly gotten to the point now to where she is homebound she's wheelchair bound and I can no longer even get her into either of the, the two cars or SUVs I can't get her into a vehicle to carry her to a doctor's appointment and that's a problem and got a fight with the insurance companies and so forth to finally get them to say okay yes this person is homebound yes we can allow you to get wheelchair transport because you know I, I have to move her around the house in a wheelchair um, she doesn't have enough strength in her arms because she is a little overweight okay she's a lot overweight but I still love her. Um, so I've got to take her back and forth to the bedroom, um, you know, to the bathroom as needed, get her to the shower, things of that nature. Um, anything that I can do, I try to do to help my mother. But with her mobility issues, it's just not possible. I mean, even with a wheelchair ramp that I built, um, it's just not possible to get her into a vehicle to get her to a doctor's office and you guys know I don't watch television she does I got her a nice pretty 4k TV that she watches all day long and fine she can watch TV all she wants to but she developed a bed sore because of her lack of mobility and either going from the wheelchair to the lift chair or to the bed she's not really able to get up on her feet and move around so therefore you know bed sore is going to be inevitable okay how am I going to get her to a doctor's office there's just no way I can get her to a doctor's office right now and until I can get the insurance company to you know her insurance companies she's got a primary and a secondary and try to get them to settle in and say okay yes you can utilize this for doctor's appointments necessary doctors or whatever um, but until I can get to that point I'm like she needs care now how am I gonna deal with this and her hearing is going as well so there's a brick wall between me and where she's sitting in the living room watching television and that television uh, is so loud that many times that I can actually hear the television as if I was in the room with her it's that bad um, yeah so going back and forth checking on her quite frequently and there a TV commercial came on for a place called go med 
I'm like, Ugh. I don't like like anything usually that has go in the name of it usually annoys the crap out of me. I'm that kind of person. You know, I'm grumpy old guy. You know, that's just me. That's why you guys love me, I think. Um, <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, whatever. And I, I checked into it, went to the website, and what it is is something that hasn't really been done that much since the old west days, you know, Victorian times and so forth. A doctor that makes house calls? Yeah, right. Um, got to be expensive. Got to be a horrible thing. How's that going to work? That kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I went to the website and I checked them out. Now, location-wise, they are limited on their locations. You can see if you're in Georgia, it's only Fayette County and Coetta County. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I live in South Carolina. So they cover these areas right here. And um, they are trying to increase their coverage area around this area so that they can cover more areas. I'm saying area a lot. But anyway, um, so they... they this is actually a pretty broad area. There's still a lot more in this. It's kind of like three counties kind of merged together with one town running into the other and, you know, that kind of deal. And if you're unsure if you fit into those, they actually have a, um, a postcode. You can put in your your zip code, or, and it'll tell you if you're covered by their, their coverage area. So, okay, we got all that sorted out. And got set up for an appointment and mother I love her dearly decided that she just didn't want anybody coming by that day she just old country gal and gotta love her right so rescheduled for today which is Friday the 27th and you know we had a little bit of rocky road trying to get the the coordination of the time correctly but um, say I ended up they did come out and also got to meet with the owner of the company not just talking to him on the phone and with text messages but he also came by and oh god um i i can't say enough good about these people and this is i'm not getting paid to do this and you guys know me i'm always grumpy about everything and if there's a problem i i'm, I'm gonna be right there you're gonna know there's a problem i'm gonna let it be known you guys know i don't shut up um but essentially what they do is once the appointment time said they come out an actual physician comes out and it was a of course my mother so one of the female physician the lady that came out the physician just as sweet as can be super nice lady um very professional very courteous uh, if you've ever been to a lot of doctor's offices they just want to get you in get you out and you just feel like you're a burden to them my mother didn't feel that way I didn't feel that way I didn't feel like they just want to get in and whatever and then leave as quick as they possibly could she did a very good job very thorough very professional but very likable very very likable person the owner of the company just super nice guy um, if you go on their Facebook page got pictures of him that's not her that came up by the way um, and that's not him that's the owner but yeah it's uh, they really really impressed me on just their personalities um, and one of the things that, that really meant something to me as well um, the the owner of the company he's Air Force he's serving his country and also um, just you know I, I'm always in for supporting any veteran owned company and after finding out that this is a veteran owned company they gained even more respect from him his professional demeanor his personality he impressed me as a person not just as a company owner or I'm the boss or whatever else he just impressed me as a person and I have a lot of respect for him and obviously so because I'm making a video about it 
and I don't just make videos about something unless I have something to complain about. And for me, sad to say, I don't really have anything to complain about. <laughs> so I just want to share this experience with you. If you're in this area, you live in this area, or if you live in the coverage area of you know the Fayette County and Coetta County, I think I hope I pronounced that correctly. Or if you live in any of these areas right here, um, yeah, definitely give them a try if if you have a need for them. Don't just I, mean, I wouldn't say just call them because oh well I just don't feel like going to the doctor's office. I have a legitimate need. My mother is wheelchair bound and I can't get her in a vehicle to even with a wheelchair ramp. It's just she's not physically able to get into the vehicle. So this turned out to be the best possible option for a doctor's visit that they actually came out and did a home visit and that really helped me out a lot and of course it helped mom out because you know they were able to get her prescriptions for whatever she needed for like antibiotics and and things to take care of, of her situation and yeah we'll leave it at that I'm I'm perfectly happy very impressed and it's great to support another um, veteran-owned company. Alright guys and gals, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.